On June 25th, the CBC quietly published a notice on its website announcing the approval of another round of future bonuses for its executives and non-unionized staff. The bonuses are for work done in 2023 to 2024's fiscal year and will be handed out as at a total of 1,194 staff members. Some believe that the state broadcaster's choice to quietly publish the news days after Parliament broke for the summer and after CBC President Catherine Tate was grilled by MPs on this very topic is suspicious. Federal Director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, Franco Terrazano, believes that the CBC should be done with its bonuses for good rather than, quote, wasting more tax dollars reviewing its bonus scheme. Today, I'm joined by Mr. Terrazano himself to unpack this CBC bonus scheme. Franco, thank you for joining me today. Hey, thank you. Now, was, what is it that's different about this latest round of bonuses to CBC staff members? Well, to be honest, it looks like it's the same old gravy train rolling ahead at the CBC. So what we do know is that they just approved uh, about bonuses for about 1,200 of those non-unionized staff managers and executives. Now, we don't know the final bill to taxpayers as of yet, but we can be sure that this is going to come with a hefty price tag. For starters, the CBC already costs taxpayers more than a billion dollars every single year, and we can see that the bonuses have already cost taxpayers millions of dollars in the past. So, for example, the CBC handed out about $15 million in taxpayer-funded bonuses last year, and the bonuses cost taxpayers about $114 million going back to 2015. So we know that the CBC just approved more bonuses for about 1,200 of its employees, but as of yet, we don't know the final bill to taxpayers. Now, the CBC has laid out a strategic plan where they list five key performance indicators that trigger bonuses for staff. Could you unpack these indicators for us? Yeah, so they list about five very vague key performance indicators, and we're going to have to wait till sometime this summer to see, you know, just how they stacked up with those key metrics. But, you know, this kind of brings us into a bigger problem for taxpayers. If you look at the total federal bureaucracy, not just the CBC, well, the federal government has handed out about $1.5 billion dollars in bonuses to government bureaucrats since 2015. And this is despite the fact that federal departments can barely meet half of their own performance targets. So when you look at the federal bureaucracy as a whole, uh, taxpayers are left scratching our heads here, wondering why the government is handing out these big bonus checks when bureaucrats and federal departments can't even meet half of their own performance targets. The CBC is having a review conducted of their compensation regime, including bonuses, by a third-party human resource firm. Do you think that this review will do anything to change how the CBC awards bonuses in the future, or is it just a publicity stunt? Well, what I think it really is, is a complete waste of money, right? So for starters, the CBC already takes more than a billion dollars from taxpayers every single year. Then the CBC hands out millions of dollars in taxpayer funded bonuses, it seems like every single year. And now the CBC is wasting more tax dollars hiring consultants to review their compensation and bonuses. But, you know, taxpayers don't need the CBC to waste more of our money reviewing bonuses. Taxpayers need the CBC to end the bonuses, completely shut off the bonus tap at the CBC. And, you know, if President Catherine Tate isn't willing to do the right thing and end these bonuses, then someone else has to step in. And that either has to be Canadian Heritage Minister Pascal St. Ange or Finance Minister Christia Freeland or Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. One of them needs to step in and stop these taxpayer funded bonuses at the CBC. Do you feel that these bonuses undermine how Canadians see the CBC or should it? Oh, I absolutely do. I mean, like, what's also so crazy about the fact that the CBC just approved another round of bonuses for about 1,200 staffers is that, you know, after the last couple months, there's been public outrage from Canadians, including from members of parliament who brought Tate, the CBC's president herself, in front of the committee and were grilling Tate over these bonuses. So, you know, this is a really bad move from the state broadcaster to rubber stamp a whole bunch more bonuses all paid for by the taxpayer. We know that Pierre Polyev has said that he wants to defund the CBC. Do you think this is a good idea? Oh, absolutely. 
and it's time to defund the CBC. So Mr. Polyev, he said two things on this issue uh, to the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. He said he would end the bonuses for failing government authorities, which includes the CBC. And he's also said publicly many times that he would defund the CBC. And he should defund the CBC. Number one, cost taxpayers more than a billion dollars a year at a time when the federal government is already more than a trillion dollars in debt. Number two, I mean, I think Canadians should be able to voluntarily choose which media organizations uh, they want to support. I don't think the government should be taking money from taxpayers, forcing taxpayers to support the CBC with our tax dollars. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thank you.